Okay, so this is what we're gonna see me make. Just several, I'm gonna be going through the whole alphabet. So this is the A, bunch of fruits and vegetables, but only the ones that I was confident about. So it's like, there's not an artichoke in here and there's not an asparagus, but I was thinking about them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, if you, when I'm blocking out all these things, if you look really carefully, I'm like, I'm careful in the way I edit it, where like, I don't really want you to see that I attempted to make an artichoke and an asparagus. So it's like, you might see some shapes there, but I might have just edited it <laughs> too well. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. And it kind of defeats the purpose that now I'm talking about how like, I tried an artichoke and I couldn't do it. It was tragic. Well, now I'm on the lookout. <laughs> Bought low. Oh dear. What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> so like I do this thing where I, I think I made each of these based on level of interest I had in them and it's not actually alphabetical because I have an acorn squash somewhere at the end of the line and it's like that when I, <laughs> when I put it through in my documents and stuff like when I'm trying to be like okay like all my little A fruits and vegetables it's like acorn squash always goes above the apple but I'm like no I made the apple first it needs to go first <laughs> need to just I don't know if I made the same choice when I was doing like my bee produce which like you'll see soon enough but it's just one of those things oh my gosh is this no <laughs> it's not the artichoke <laughs> it's fun like do you know what each of these are already I know well, I showed apple, you the... probably um, apricot. Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure about the third one, but that's probably an avocado. Mm. And this one's acorn? <laughs> acorn squash. Yeah. Okay, so the acorn squash is kind of embarrassing because I started off with a cube, and what I should have done and what I ended up doing is starting off with a six-sided cylinder because I needed to make it into six sides ultimately, but it's like, I was trying to work so hard with the cube to like make it work. And it's like, ah, oh, I can just make some of these sides smaller and like so use the edges. And it's like, no, just, just, I needed to start off with six sides. It's like, sometimes you just need to do some math to make it work for you. So it's like, I leave in the footage of me trying to make the acorn squash work. I shouldn't be talking about the acorn squash more on the apple. <laughs> yeah, I'm making the apple. I add some things to make it look imperfect but like good still an apple you'd want to eat there's a stem because it's cute and like i had to keep making choices about like how much detail to add so it's like i don't really do anything with the bottom of the apple whereas if i wanted to i could have added all the little stem and like fuzzy bit details that mm -hmm. apples tend to have on the bottom but i just didn't want to which is the shriveled up um, petals of the flower. Oh, did you know? You. I feel like I didn't know that. Yeah. I feel like if I had to sit down and really think about it, like I, I feel like I don't really think about the fact that fruits come from flower, tr flowers mm. trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is corn a fruit? Hmm. Cause like that has such distinct leafiness that it's like those aren't really petals, but. It's what is corn? Oh yeah, and this one might not be the most apparent to American audiences, but this is an Asian pear. Hmm. And I always think of it as like, because the first time I saw an Asian pear was on this one cooking channel where it was this Korean woman who made all these Korean recipes. So I always think of it as like a Korean pear, but it's not, it's just an Asian pear. And then um, I have one myself and they're not very flavorful, hmm. <laughs> but they look cool. What color? Asian pears are like a tan color. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I um, I had a hard time with the avocado when I was coloring it in because I wanted it to be dark enough, but then it's like, it still needed to be visibly green. But every mm -hmm. time I rendered it, I it just looked too dark. So it's like, I have had to color correct all the avocado footage to be like visibly green, like up the saturation to just see the greenness because otherwise it's just really difficult okay so here i am like really trying to commit to this to using a square base for the uh for the acorn squash even though i shouldn't have and it just keeps being hard and i keep pursuing it <laughs> like so this is just like an ode to 
how you can like try really hard to make something work uh and you're gonna fail (laughs) (laughs) that's a lesson for you kids (laughs) Mm -hmm. sometimes like maybe just cut your losses earlier and restart with a six-sided cylinder and like you, like I <laughs> added definition because I'm like maybe this will help <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like oh really trying to get the shape down and like I'm still trying I'm like yeah I'm gonna make a stem because obviously this is still working <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just like it's going so well <laughs> <laughs> and I added more definition because I'm like maybe <laughs> It was a good mood the whole time. I was having fun. (laughs) I'm still trying. (laughs) So yeah, it's like I was gonna delete this, but it's like maybe it would be nice for some people to see that like (laughs) I was just trying so hard. (sighs) Like yeah, maybe people would enjoy seeing that like I just didn't give up. It's giving me like garlic vibes. So save that and. With your G's. Gosh. <laughs> still, still just pursuing it. <laughs> it's um, kind of like an artichoke, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Here I go, just like doing my best and like starting it off better. <laughs> Maybe it was an eight sided cylinder. My word. <laughs> Either way, I did the math. I counted out little, all the bumps I could see on real life artichokes. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> not our shows. Acorn, Acorn squashes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and I I see that. Well, maybe I was distracted, but I didn't see my um, failed artichoke or asparagus models when I was blocking out. So maybe nobody else did either. <laughs> but this one was fun because I don't know if I've ever had an acorn squash like eaten one, but ever since modeling this, I see them in the stores like all the time, and they look so pretty. And they're bigger than you would expect. I think that even in the little group photo, little render that I have of all these fruits and vegetables together, I don't think I make the acorn squash quite big enough because I think it is just like, it seems like it should just be a cutesy little thing, like an acorn. It's big. (laughs) I know what an acorn squash is. I've seen them. Do you know how big they are? Yeah. Not as big as a pumpkin. Like a grapefruit. (laughs) What am I doing here? Oh, okay. I gotta add some, like, gotta scrush it in, but only in those little spots. Mm. <laughs> and then add some irregularity to it to make it look more natural. Like, I, with the stems, I have to scrunch those in too, but like to a lesser degree. So I have to do it separately. Scrunch. cute make it bigger (laughs) yeah we're done coloring Mm mm-hmm you could have made a green apple (laughs) I could have I think I might do that for other fun renders I feel like I'm not done coloring all the things that I have colored before I feel like I want to make um variants for them I feel like I had a hard time figuring out how to start the apple when I was coloring it in and so I just I throw spaghetti at the wall. Um, I feel like this is when I start finding my stride. Yeah, like add just slight little, not that, don't don't worry, I'm gonna blend that in. (laughs) But I like the little slight freckliness. And then there's some like streakiness, but not too much. Um, You'll see. In a way, I wish that this voiceover had a video element for, like, what we're seeing right now in terms of, like, your cat. Because <laughs> I'd like for some people to see Chow Chow being cute. No, she's my cat. I just, I didn't want to say Chow Chow right off the bat, because not everyone has been formally introduced to her. The house is cat. <laughs> <laughs> And if you see a brown smudge on the apple, don't worry, I erase that. It's all part of masking things out and all that, all these things on different masked layers, etc. I can just take a recording of us 
our perspective of watching your video. Like don't <laughs> don't have that be your visual. Have this Ooh, be your visual. That's a way to do it. You could even have it like behind our heads to show us. Yeah. But not our faces. Yeah. <laughs> I need that. That's what everyone wants. <laughs> I feel like I'm taking a really long time on this apple. Um, I really like texturing the apricot when we get there. But you know what? The avocado, once we get there, is also really fun because I use a brush that only adjusts the height of stuff. So it's like you can, I don't know, it's like when you adjust, the height is on a bump map or a normal map. It's the whole thing. We'll talk about maps later. <laughs> Um, so it's like this is pretty smooth like there's not much like indentation or anything but it's like the avocado has a bunch so you'll find out later but yeah the apricot is fun but it's like I'm not super satisfied with it because I hope by the time I get to peach I'll figure out how to get just the kind of like slightly fuzzy texture that these fellas have it was just a little bit too shiny when I rendered it and that's, that's just what I have to live with. But you live and you learn. And I'll hopefully have learned a lot by the time I get to P. What letter are you on now? Um, I'm on C. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just taking it slow. I'm not really in a rush. What's this little guy in the corner down there? Um, I think that that's showing the orientation, like where we are on like the XYZ axis. The front of you, it's like if I were facing you right now, um, then it would show that the z-axis is facing you okay. because it's like going toward you and then the y-axis will be pointing up okay. that kind of thing so like it's just showing how like when I imported that mesh where it was facing so that if I needed to get back to square one I would kind of see how to do that because that little guide down below would show me little guy <laughs> looks like a guy with arms mm, fun <laughs> Asian pear the woman who I watched recipes for, she used this a lot for like, she would juice it and then she would use the juice in like a broth or a sauce or something like in place of water. I don't know. I suppose it has more flavor than water. <laughs> Vitamins too. Maybe if you're lucky. <laughs> but it has a fun look and it is this just kind of like dullish tan color though, you wouldn't expect. It's like because you haven't seen Asian pears before, I feel like you're not gonna be as impressed by the final product. Like, wow, I nailed it, but like, did I? You haven't seen it before. Whoa. <laughs> Michelle, don't pretend. Okay, here we go with the avocado and you'll see how I add height. So I gotta get the nice shade of green right and I was really picky about it because I'm like what avocado would I want to eat mm -hmm. <laughs> oh so it's like that's not a colorful brush it's just changing the height in random intervals it's like choose random brushes <laughs> so this one was a pretty quick and simple texture I think I had a little bit of variation and whatever to the shades of green Oh, yeah, and I have to do the little stem, too. <laughs> Don't worry, that the little scrungly edges, those will get masked out. <laughs> scrungly. Scrungle. I'm going to find one of our topics. Okay. <clears throat> Star Wars prequels. Oh, dear. Um, okay, did... So, like, Anakin killed just all the children of what would have been the next generation. Yeah. Is that what was so distressing to Padme? Like, did she find that out? Because then it's like she died right after having the her babes. Yeah. It's like, did she... Did he do more after that? Like... She is already pregnant, and she finds out from Obi-Wan, and, um, and they're going to... Um, wherever he dies at. Is it Mustafar? The or he lava? Doesn't, he doesn't die, but he... You know, wherever he's... Mm, yeah. Um, terrorized it's got um so they go there um padme tries well okay so obi-wan tells padme 
that he is bad and he killed all the kiddos. Oh so she goes to see him, um, and Obi Wan like s- sneaks on board. Mm. So she goes and she's trying to like talk to him, and she's just like super upset and he doesn't care. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then um, Obi Wan comes out and it's like, no, I didn't bring him here. I didn't know he was here, but he's like. You betrayed me. And I think he like pushes her down, <gasps> and so then him and Anakin or him and him and Obi Wan start fighting, and Padme is just you know on the ground until Obi Wan comes back to help her. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's just like um, it's just like you were telling me about Gone with the Wind. Like, didn't Scarlet get pushed? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's just Star Wars is exactly like Gone with the Wind. Was she pushed, or was it more like he was pulling her and she got? released. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know everything. For which one? For Padme or for Scarlet? For Scarlet. Okay. (laughs) It's like when, um, I don't know. It's like when a a toddler is doing something ridiculous, but it's like you have to let them go like really carefully because they'll be pulling away with Mm -hmm. like their entire baby strength. Yeah. Like when Avery chases me and he's tagging me, like I will sometimes like grab him because he's like flinging around behind me. So I'll, like I'll grab it. Like yeah, you got me, but I'm gonna make sure you don't fall over now. Ciao. No. The, the kitties are fighting. Anyway, so acorn squashes. Acorn squashes sometimes are pretty much only dark green, or sometimes they have these fun little splatters of a warmer color. I I recognize that. Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just an expert on acorn I mean, squashes. Like, I feel like you don't know acorn squashes as well as I, I do. I I've don't. seen them in the grocery store <laughs> for three <laughs> more years than you have. <laughs> <laughs> you've been you've been a sister of acorn squash your whole life. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.